It's nearly time for you to spring ahead. This Sunday, the hour between 2 and 3 in the morning will disappear. It does stink to lose the hour of sleep. Coming from a construction worker who gets up either earlier or later, it just messes up the whole schedule for at least a week. I like my sleepy time. I like my beauty sleep. Yeah, it's a problem, especially this one where we spring ahead and lose that hour of sleep. Dr. Charles Seisler of Brigham and Women's Hospital says this twice a year switch of our body clocks has been linked to a number of health risks, including an increased risk of heart attacks, obesity, cancer, and even car accidents. Depending on the study, uh, 5, 10, 17 percent in one study uh, increased uh, crashes, uh, particularly on the Monday and Tuesday of that following week. Dr. Seisler says there are strategies for handling the change. First, try to tank up on sleep, take a nap or sleep in. And then try to get more exposure to morning light. Uh, so go out for a little walk, do something, uh, get as much light exposure as you can in the morning. And then another thing you can do is to minimize your exposure, particularly to blue enriched light in the evening. And while the later sunset may seem like a positive thing. More uh, daylight means positive energy for me. Dr. Seisler says not so. It's really, if you want to think about it, keeping the midpoint of our total daily light exposure in the same place all year. A thought to sleep on. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.